Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and today we'll be reviewing some random action figure action. But before we get on to the review itself, we're going to talk about the figures in here. We got some random Power Rangers, because you know me. I love some Power Rangers. And we got some TMNT. We got 2003 Shredder, my favorite version of Shredder, because he was like, none of you will leave here alive. And we got my first ever Udasaki from Ninja Turtles. An old-timey friend of the Turtles. I'm definitely glad to add him to the collection. He is just amazing. And, of course, we got some firefighters and a little dragon I got from Kennywood. And now that it's been a minute, we're going to look at each figure in this bin. These figures would not stand on their own, so we're going to look at each figure individually. First, we're going to look at this flip and change Power Ranger. You grab onto his legs, like so. And he auto-morphs into Jason. Yeah! And then you flip him again. He's like, it's morphin' time! Oh yeah! Take this, buddies! Oh yeah! I love this gimmick figure. No articulation in the legs, but other than that, he does move on the waist. Arms move because of the hinges, which I love. He's well detailed and well sculpted. But let's put him back in Jason mode so we can look at his alternative face from the movie. And look at that. Really well sculpted, really well painted. I love this. But now we're going to get down to some Mighty Morphin comparisons here. This is I flip him around again. And there we go. Got the Red Ranger ready for comparison. Here we got the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. Next to his bigger classic self. They, they look pretty good together if I do say so myself. Next we got the Mighty Morphin... Retromorph, which is a similar design to this. If you flip up the head, you can see that they share a similar head design. New versus old. Here's classic Jason's head. Next to nuanced Jason. As you can see, they look very similar, but some hair differences and face differences between one another. I love that. And to put them back, we're going to flip up the helmet again. Second verse, just like the first with this one. If I can get it to work. There we go. But yeah, that's a good comparison. Here we have the Lightning Series Mighty Morphin Jason. I love this. i got to track down some more of these. I need the Green Ranger and so forth. And we're almost done with Mighty Morphin comparisons got a couple more because I don't have a lot of these. Here is the little play school Mighty Morphin Red Ranger and it's all so precious. So precious. And his Mighty Morphin the movie Mickey D's McDonald's toy comparison. And that's all there is to say for the Mighty Morphin Rangers. Next we're going to look at our Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue and we got the original Green Ranger, and this is the articulated one. No articulation in the elbows, but you can move them. Look at that. Articulation is awesome. Head is not on a ball joint because it's an old school figure. I love having the OG here. Bend at the knees, which is pretty cool. And I love having this figure in my collection. He'll look good with my 90s Power Rangers. And of course... We got another White Speed Ranger. This is the Mickey D's Zord Builder Pink Ranger. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. But now for comparisons with the other Mickey D's White Speed Ranger I own, here's the blue and the red. Blue and pink. I need to get the rest of the team, and this team will look awesome. Articulation, not much. These are Mickey D's toys. They don't have a lot of articulation. Heads can move slightly, no ball joints, side to side, and arms can move. But other than that, these are good-looking toys. Going to be adding them to my random 90s Power Rangers. 
because they look awesome. Next, we're going to look at our 2003, our Samurai Donna, Samurai Udasaki. Sorry, I had to correct myself. It's the Samurai Udasaki from the same line as that 1993 Samurai Donatello. So here we got my first Samurai Ninja Turtle figures, and these figures are awesome. I'm getting some more Samurai Ninja Turtle figures. I love these things. They look awesome. He might have had swords. If you know, then please leave me a comment, because I don't know for sure. If you know, I'd appreciate the comment. That's all there is to say for those, those figures. Not much articulation with Urasaki, as you can see. Not much. This is an old figure. Doesn't have much. As you can see, not much articulation. But now we're going to look at the best shredder in the history of everything that is TMNT. This is my childhood shredder from 2003. And look at him. He is a bundle of terrifyingness. You press this button and he can put his arm up and be like, none of you will leave here alive. And I'm so glad to add this to my collection. Articulation, not much in the legs. Arms have some, but not much. Head has some, but not much. But now for some shredder comparisons. Which that's the last bit of comparisons I have in my bin here. Next we got the 2012 shredder. Next to his 2003 car counterpart. And this looks better than 2003 shredder by my opinion. Not as accurate as I would like. And of course, we got a 2003 turtle. I don't have a lot of these. If I get more, I will be adding more to the collection if I find more. And of course, the only other 2003 shredder I have is this one. And yeah, he's got both claws compared to this one. If I ever get a chance to find another claw piece, I'll put it on his other arm and make him complete. But other than that, these are some awesome turtle figures. And now we're on to the last bit of random figures. And then we are done for the night. Or the day. That's what I'm going to say, the day. But next, we're going to look at these firefighter figures. I don't know what line these are from, but these are definitely not from Rescue Heroes. They're like knockoffs. Articulation. They got some, but not a lot. Even the legs or arms don't have a lot. Heads can rotate, which ain't too bad. And yeah, I got quite a few of these guys in my collection as of this year. And we got another one. This one is from another, I don't know what line he's from, but he's very old looking. Look at all the paint wear on this guy. If you know how old this guy is, please tell me. I don't know what he's from. But he is pretty cool. So I got some more firefighters. And here is my original, so you can see. I got some epic bootleg firefighter figures here in my collection. And you know me, I love to collect bootleg action figures. They're awesome by my book. Next on the list, we got this little plastic dinosaur. I used to have a bunch of these, but I wound up getting rid of them. But for now, I like this guy. I'm definitely going to keep him. I found him for free on a Tuesday night. Someone was getting rid of him. And of course, this is my little $5 ticket dragon I got from Kennywood. And ain't he so precious. I have to close in because he's just all so precious. Definitely going to be adding them to my Dungeons and Dragons collection. Look at that tail. And paint and sculpting looks amazing. But that's all there is to say for the, the review. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.